we would like to walk you through different components of video conferencing. Judge Stewart takes the bench at 10 a.m. at Family Courtroom Number 4. The courtroom is equipped with video conferencing capabilities. The family courtroom which hosts the video conference is called the local site. At the scheduled time, the judge will connect with two remote sites, a plaintiff parent and an ASL, American Sign Language Interpreter, who will translate for the parent who is deaf. A little before 10 a.m., the parent plaintiff comes to the video conferencing facility. The parent, who now resides outside of the state, can't appear in person for the hearing. He filed the required form FL679 to request a video conference and has been granted approval from the court. The judge is using a secure and dedicated traditional video conferencing system. The system includes a high resolution flat screen monitor on top of which a camera is mounted. The monitor is also equipped with a speaker and a microphone integrated into the console. The judge will initiate the video conference similar to a phone call with the touch of a button. She connects with the plaintiff parent and the ASL interpreter at the remote sites. The synchronized connection between the courtroom and the two remote sites that allows transmission of synchronized audio and video is called a communication network. A communication network can be run via a telephone system or within an internet connection. Video conferencing is cost efficient, easy and green. 